Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Wind Waker. In the last episode we found our way over to Dragon Roost Island where we need to speak to the Sky Spirit Valu in order to gain the Din's the special treasure known as Din's Pearl which our talking boat thinks we should get so obviously it's got to be a good idea. If we head up here there's a gentleman you might recognize. Doctor? Doctor is that you? Hi it is I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say You've travelled far for one with no wings. And your sister? Is she...? Ah, uh, is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Doctor. Would you like to meet a... Chieftain. I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the Chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Eerie. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Doctor. I'll be waiting. Oh, how good it'd be to have wings. But yeah, inside, if you might look carefully ahead, well, you know, don't even need to look that carefully, you can see there's a hole in the side. The entire, this entire section of the mountain is actually hollow. And so when we go inside, it's actually a massive central chamber full of Rito. It's actually a central sorting office of more, because they're kind of, these are the post people of the Great Sea, so. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valor's anger? Ah, so you're a doctor, are you? Quill has told me about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we do have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we at the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. We do so by the grace of the Sky Spirit Valu, and when it reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the great Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown quiet, grown quiet, <laughs> grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They'll remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. Threatened? That's not even a word. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Doctor with regard to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Doctor's a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali will open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak, and in some ways, in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? God, we are agreeing to everything here. Oh, thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Will you find her and take it? Oh, I am counting on you. Here, Doctor, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy if this is another sale like the last of this was. No, this is a delivery bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on the screen and see what you have inside. It's another bag. We have a lot of bags now. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So we've been set on with a number of quests right there. The first thing we want to do though is jump off the round. Round? Spiral. Staircase. Thing. It's not a staircase, it's just a ramp. We jumped off it anyway though. But first we want to not go through there, which is kind of where we need to go, but instead we can go here and play a little mini game. Well now, I've not seen your young face before. No, I don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to, to our portal for some part-time help, would you? Yes, that's why I'm here, obviously. Oh, excellent, that's good. But first, I need to give you a little t to see if I can use you or not. I need to give you a little test, just a small one. Basically, we just have to match, use the left stick to move and press A to match the letters to the right envelope. The right envelope, dress the, match the letters from the stamps on the envelope to the right slot in the wall. So, without further ado, let's do that. That's a windmill. And that's a jug, and that's a thing. Don't know what that is. I'm just not going to start talking about them. That was the wrong one. I totally missed that up. I thought they might have potentially added gamepad functionality to this, but they haven't, which kind of sucks, but 
be cool if they did. This game can get seriously competitive. I've seen online people like competing to get world records, and the world records on this are seriously impressive. But I managed more than the kind of amount that he said. He wanted me to do 10, and I managed to get 22 in, so that's pretty cool. So he pays me. I get one ru rupee for every two letters, so it comes to a grand total of 11 rupees. Yay! There was a point to that, uh, and I'll come back to that later. But for now, we need to go through here and, as the Chieftain said, meet Medley. This is... Medley. Medley is Valu's attendant, and such as such puts great effort into everything she does. Even so, there are times when she seems to be spinning her wheels. Her greatest treasure is the harp she carries on her back. Don't even know what spinning her wheels means, but... Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're a doctor, aren't you? Who me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not quite an attendant yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Ah, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Doctor, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. You accept a father's letter. It's a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivering bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? Because obviously I'm completely incapable of just carrying a letter in my hand like a normal person. In the room way back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, uh, listen, Doctor. Oh, I have a small favour I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dreven Roos Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Interesting thing to note about Medley as well. If you look at the centre of her dress, you will see that symbol. Think about that, if you don't already know what that's a reference to. Have a little think, because that's, that's a cool thing. Now, if we come down here, this is the way to Kamali's room, because as you said, you have to go down a few slight steps to get there. So we need to talk to the mopey bastard, and yes, he is extremely miserable. Look at him there, lying in bed with an incredibly glowy pearl. That was nowhere near as glowing on the original version. We might be able to snap a good pictograph of him here, but I'm not sure. Yep, that's good, apparently. So yes, this is Prince Kamali. The figurine describes him as having as personality, mama's boy. Kamali has very little confidence in himself and has thus closed himself off from the outside world. With just a little help from Link, though, he is spoilers. I <laughs> did not know that there were such heavy spoilers there. So let's continue on by talking to him. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, yeah, yeah. He does have rare, rare, rare words. What I have to do is actually give him that. He won't really talk to us, but we can hand him father's letter. A letter? From my father? Oh sure, telling him to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a go and get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't like feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Pushed. That's a big fat loy. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cast a ting. I'll tell you what, if you can find someone, me, someone on Dragon Roost who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost, I said that twice by accident, to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. But until then, you can piss off. That's essentially what he left unspoken there. So he's generally, like I said, being a mopey bastard. But, no, don't bum at me, I'm trying to, yeah, I was trying to do stuff on the menu and it wasn't letting me do it. So, he's being a bit of a kind of stone wall at the moment, but what we can do is head to how to help out Medley, because Medley said she'd like to meet us outside Dragon Roost Cavern. So, without further ado, let's do that. God, doesn't look a little bit bleak out here now. This is a bit of a change from the kind of essentially tropical island on the outside and the peaceful post place inside. If we hop down here, we will find... Medley, just like she said, that was a really cool bit of free running I did there. <laughs> hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have done so if I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see, this place there used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and the boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the results. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not right at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, his grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman, and I was honoured to have her as my teacher. She was kind, brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm still not being worthy of whether it be mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Kamali would have felt more secure. 
Doctor, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the Pika Dragon Roost. But that literal there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, would you help me? Sure, I'll help you. So what we have to do is basically just pick her up and throw her at that ledge. But we have to make sure she's in some wind under her wings. We've got to make sure the wind is blowing in the right direction. The wind direction is indicated by just kind of the, the ashy, sooty crap that's blowing around. We have to stand up here and wait till the wind is blowing in that direction. Of course, the moment I come up here, it goes first still and then blows straight back in my face. So, oh, no, it's going right now. That was close. Closer than before. And then left. I'm not sure if this is random or whether it just kind of alternates around. Let's see. And throw. And she successfully glides up there. Because she's still young, I don't think she's capable of proper flapping fight yet. So that's why she had to glide like that. Oh, thank you. I know I'll be able to, I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost Island and meet the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice, apprentice attendant, but I can understand the language of the Great Valu. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything comes to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Wee! Didn't even see her throw anything, but either way, we got an empty bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. And she's de the game is definitely right there. Um, and we will be using the bottle very soon for a number of things. Oh, and don't ten please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. So, she goes off up there. What should we do, though? Because I think... If you remember, Kamali was saying, If you can find me someone that can make it to the top of Dragon Roost, I'll listen to anything you say. I think we should attempt that. That's only That can only end well, so... Might as well take some water for the journey. You filled your bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. Hint, hint, hinty McHint. If you come back up here, then if you recall, you might remember. Then if you recall, if you think back, you might remember these little things here. They look withered and dry, don't they? Let's pour a bit of water on them. See how that makes them feel. Indeed, that makes them grow up properly into a true bomb flower. So now what we need to do is time the bomb. And when the timing is right, throw! That looked like it works. It did not. Let's try again. Three, two, one, throw. <laughs> My countdown was off there, but yeah! So that unplugs the spring, which then, as you can imagine, from unplugging a spring, starts the spring flowing again. I said the word spring too many times in a very short period of time there. But that raises the level of the water, which allows us to swim across to the other side. Which is good, apparently. Certainly the entrance is to Dragon Roost, which is where we want to be going. So, let us jump across and swim. And now we come to one of the more irritating parts of this game. They added on Skyward Sword a very nice thing, that's when you're holding a bomb, it kind of shows the trajectory of where the bomb will go if you throw it at that, at that angle and with that kind of momentum. This game is lacking such a kind of aiming device. Though I've managed to do the first one easily. As you can see, you have to... Th well, you don't have to jump off a cliff like that. What you are supposed to do is throw the bombs so they land in the jugs of each of these things, then they fall flat down on their face and create a little platform you can jump across. Oh, I thought I'd done that first try. That would have been glorious. The second one I always struggle with, so I have no idea how long this will take me. But, oh, I thought I'd done it again there. The angle is weird. That means it looks like I've got it when I haven't. It makes me sad. Oh, but that, that, that. <laughs> Oh. Well, I was giving myself basically until the end of the episode to do that. I didn't really think that would be... It would take that long. So, anyway. Let's have a little look inside. This is our first real dungeon of the game. This is Dragon Roost Cavern. And much as I would really like to push on with it this episode, even though this has been a short episode, it's only been about 14 minutes, I am going to have to cut it here just for kind of... Essentially, I haven't got time to record the next episode now, but I don't want to split Dragon Roost into multiple ones, so I want to try and get it all done in one. So, I'm going to hold it here till the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Wind Waker. And let's just end up with a couple of Tingle Bottles. Okay, turns out neither of the Tingle Bottles I've been sent are funny, so they're both just people looking weird. Um, so, yeah, people can send pictographs along with tingle bottles, but the two I've been sent just aren't that very funny, and also they're on the gamepad, and there's no real easy way for me to show you that, so who knows, maybe I'll work out a way of doing it in the future, but for now, 
we have successfully scaled Dragon Roost and have gone into Dragon Roost Cavern to try and find our way up to calm down the Great Valu, which we'll be doing next episode. So thank you very much for watching the episode, this episode of The Wind Waker. I have been the Doctor with the Infamous Gentleman, and I hope you'll join me next time for Dragon Roost Cavern. Thank you very much, and good day.